In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite run defenses in Madden 21. This is going to help you stop the run on the goal line. Pretty excited about this defense. One of the better defenses that I've got, um, at least for right now, as far as run defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you've never been to my YouTube channel, I want to go ahead and just say thank you for watching this video. My channel posts four videos a day here on YouTube every single day. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. We will be live tonight. And so if you want to get access to that content, if you want to know when we release new content, new videos, new tips for you, uh, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen. You can also click that notifications icon. That's going to allow you to be notified every time we go live so you never miss any of my videos. All right, guys, we're going to talk about goal line defense, and we're going to talk specifically about uh, fullback dive. I think fullback dive is probably one of the better uh, runs, and the play that you're going to come out in is 4-6 bear under, and the play is gap press. So to me, this is probably the best run defense right now, uh, at least that I've been able to find. I think 4-6 bear under does a really good job against the run every single year. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, two-yard line and in, right, uh, all I do is I man a line, I press, and then I shade coverage uh, outside and over top. I crash my defensive line to the right, and I'm going to stand kind of right in this gap right here with digs. And all you're going to see me do is I'm going to shoot this gap straight forward here. And of course, uh, as as we uh, get on the go line here, where we get the stop, uh, you'll see oftentimes. And I might need to I might need to pinch the line here. I'm sorry, but you'll see oftentimes. You'll get this shoot right there from the Jamal Adams, and I've gotten so many fumbles with the with the Seahawks with this little shoot. That blitz angle will shoot in, and that's why I like this uh, this defense here. So some if you're if you're uh, wanting to really lock in on the fullback dive specifically, go ahead and pinch your line and crash it down. What you'll see here on the right side is it's going to allow you to shoot right up the middle here, and typically you're going to get in the backfield. Part of it's a little bit challenging for me right now because I'm using uh, two controllers to try to show this to you, but you go fullback dive and literally you're going to shoot forward right at the snap of the ball. Shoot forward right at the snap of the ball, and you'll see my my shoots are a little bit off here. But you will see uh, we're going to be able to get in here, and this is really really good against all the other uh, all the other run plays that you're going to face here. You'll see. Let's see if I can get this for you. So if you blitz digs right right in here again, you want to stand kind of right in here. Runs to the right, snap the ball, and you see there you're able to get that shoot. That's what I'm talking about. Now, sometimes you will get the fall forward uh, animation, but if you're in a game where you're not having to deal with, you know, the fact that you've got to use two controllers, you're going to see you're going to get this shoot very, very consistently, and you're going to be able to block up fullback dive. Now, fullback dive is probably the toughest run to stop. You'll see this run defense does really, really well. Um, against everything else that the opponent's going to do. So, like, if they go HB dive, you're just going to shoot straight forward. As you see here, I'm able to get it in the backfield for a five-yard loss. One of the things that I do want to encourage you to not do is not hit turbo. If you don't hit turbo, it's so much easier to get the shoots. Um, it's, it's so, so much easier to get the shoots. And, again, if they're running the ball, um, like, fullback dive middle, I really, really want to encourage you not or to go ahead and just pinch that defensive line, snap the ball, and there you see we're going to be able to get that in the backfield. And oftentimes, if you have an enforcer like a Jamal Adams, you're going to get a, you're going to get a fumble um, with this with this simple little crash here. You've got see how you got these blitz angles right here from these guys. Now, if we go to the right, snap the ball again. I'm not going to hold turbo. I'm just going to come right through, and you see we're able to get that sh that shut down in the backfield. So that's pinching line. All you're going to do, man line. You're going to come out, man line press, pinch your defensive line, crash it down, and you'll see you'll get this. This right here is what the key is right here. These guys being here, these guys being here. Now, if you crash your line out, what you'll see, let me show you what happens against fullback dev if you crash your line out. Step the ball. You're going to see it's going to be difficult for you to get the proper shooting animations because the guards are going to go to the outside. So that's why uh, I like to crash the line down. Let me show you like power O because a lot of times they'll go to something like that. And part of the trick is you don't want this linebacker down. You want him to be backed off. And that's why you also want to stand to the right here. So if he goes power O, snap of the ball. I'm not holding turbo. You see Bobby Wagner's just going to shoot right through and be able to get the tackle. Do not hold turbo. That's the biggest thing that I can tell you. Now, if they go strong toss, show you this. So this is strong toss. 
Strong toss. Your job is to get out here and make this user tackle. If you can get out there and make that user tackle, this is your run defense on the goal line. I guarantee you, you're not going to find anything better than this. If they run QB sneak, um, I don't think I even have that. They're toast if they run QB sneak. QB sneak will not work against this. Now, if they run um, power out to the left, let me show you this. Snap of the ball. You see how Jamal Adams is going to come through the gaps. And this is not run committing. I'm pass committing on this play. That's what I think makes this run defense so powerful. Again, fullback dive, pass commit, and you see they're going to come through just like that. And most of the time, uh, I don't think I pinched the line there, uh, or I don't think I was standing in the proper placement with digs. With him, you're literally wanting to be kind of right in this right in this area, about, about three yards off or so. And what you'll see is you're going you're gonna to basically replace and come right through here, right in there. And it's going to be really, really challenging to get that through. Uh, that time he was able to get through there. But your job as your job as uh, digs is to blow up the right side fullback dive. That to me is where you're most vulnerable. Most of the time they're going to run a run it to the left. I just guarantee you they're literally going to run it to the left, and you're going to see you're going to be able to blow that up. I mean they're not going to be able to run the fullback dive to the left. But um, the window of opportunity on this defense is to run the fullback dive to the right. And so what you'll see here. Run forward, dive right. You see that the a lot of times that nose guard will come through uh, green, and you'll be able to lock it up. So, uh, anyways, guys, this is a run defense. It's really, really good coverage because you're manned up all the way across the board, right? So you've got that. What I like to do is take uh, this man uh, on the right side of the screen, man him up on the tight end there, so that I know I can I can be free to lurk. You're gonna see here. Here's fullback dive left, and you see just absolutely blocked up. And if you got two enforcers on the field like the like the Seahawks, you're gonna get a lot of fumbles with this um, with this uh, little run defense. So that is how that is a complete uh, run defensive guide to stopping runs uh, in the red zone. Again, you're gonna want to stand right in here. Now, if they run strong toss to the left, what you're gonna see is snap of the ball. Oh, I'm sorry, strong toss right. I'm sorry, I, I missed my my responsibility. Your job is your your job is to take away toss with your user. So if they run strong toss uh, to the left side here, let me show you. So my job is to take away toss with my user. Oh, I see toss. I just jet out here, right here, and I got to make that tackle. That's my job. If I can make that tackle, this defense is lock up in the red zone. So anyways, guys, 4-6 bear under gap press. I believe it's one of the better run defenses in the game. Wanted to share this with you today. If you have not already, guys, make sure to join my community Discord. Discord is the best possible place for you to get access to not just myself and my content, but access to really, really good players and their tips and strategies and mini schemes. You can also share your schemes um, if you're if you're looking to uh, share some of your ideas with the community. It's just a great opportunity to be able to come alongside each other, learn from one another. I've learned a lot from players in the Discord, and I believe that they've learned some from me as well. And so um, if you want to be a part of that, there's also a section in there where you can get lab partners. If you're looking for people to play with in Madden that are going to help you get better, that Discord is the answer to that. So make sure to join Discord. A link to that is in the description of this video. And we will see you guys on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock Eastern time.